Starting five for Boston College here. Taylor Soul leads the way, scoring that shot way off the mark. The rebound and the putback is good for Clara Ford. Emma Guy, who graduated last year, was the heart and soul of this inside attack for Boston College. Here today with Camilla Cardoso, already a couple today. Yeah, seven blocks per game is no joke. And that was a heck of a finish by Cardoso. Good job. Take another look at this. She did such a good job of keeping that ball high so Dickens couldn't get near it. Kim Swartz did a good job of finding the open spot. That's a really good skill to have as... Cardoso scores again. Yeah, and came into this game the statistically the worst three-point shooting team in the conference, right. shooting 26%. But that's not the case so far today. Lewis stumps one down low. Amaya Finkley wow. is fouled and the bucket. Someone who's 6'4", because when you're Kira Lewis's size, you're not supposed to be able to do this just... Especially when you're trying to deal with Cardoso. <laughs> that time, Syracuse just threw the ball up and said, go get it. And she did. How smooth Sol is. Pull up. Will step back, create some space for herself. Sorry there, Sam. I think Sol has arguably the best mid-range in the entire conference. She is an assassin from the mid-range. That is the sweet spot of her game. So far in the second. She only has one field goal attempt. I think it's a combination of BC, and there's a big finish inside by Priscilla Williams. That was well done and well executed by Syracuse. Down low to Amaya Finkley, and she puts it in. Not taking great shots, and, and they have to find a way to get to Taylor Soul earlier in the game. I thought Soul and Ford were both great for them. Their guards struggled, but to me, it's all about shot selection for the Eagles.